to have a set containing the eighth roots of the unity of cis n pi over 4. Show that S is a group and denotes multiplication of complex numbers. So what does that mean when it says group? What do you have to show? Closure? Associative? Identity? And inverse. Okay, and this, these are kind of nasty. So for the closure, we're just going to, here's what, here's what they did, and I like the form they used. They said, let's say we took A1 and we called it cis N1 pi over 4, and A2 was cis N2 pi over 4. So if you multiply A1 times A2, what happens to the angles? N1, N2, pi, what happens to these? What do you do with them when you multiply in complex form? You add them, so it's N1 plus N2 times pi over 4 n1 plus n2 times pi over 4. And since n is going to be 1, 0 through 7, and when you add these up, it's still going to be between 0 and 7. Wrapping function, wrapping function, keeps values n1 plus n2 between 0 and 7. Can't get bigger than that, otherwise it wraps back. So therefore, therefore, uh, closed. I didn't do a very good job here for space. Could have used a little more space. Okay, how about associative? What do you know about multiplication? Yeah, multiplication of complex numbers is associative. Okay, and uh, let's do the uh, identity one. What's the identity of cis? n pi over 4. What what will get you to what will get you to that identity element? To 1. What will make this equal to 1? What will n have to be? Yeah. Because if n is 0, if n equals 0, you're going to have cosine of zero plus i times the sine of zero, and what happens to the complex? Zero. So this is just going to be one. So one is your identity. Okay. Since one is the identity, then for the inverse, what you're going to do for the inverse is cis n pi over four, to be equal to 1, oh, times a is equal to 1. So um, what value of n is going to get me there? Huh? 8 minus n, because th if, you, if you substituted 8 minus n, so let's say n was 2, okay? To get this, if you put six, I can put a six in here, then, or, yeah, if you go eight minus that n value, then this is going to become one, and that's what we want to do. It's kind of a reverse of the wrapping function. So, therefore, inverse exists. So, yes, the eight just goes 8 pi over 4, which is 2 pi. 
So we're just doing a wrapping function for that, and that just gets me to the same place, gets you to the same place, which would give us the times this to get one. So therefore, that's what you needed for the group. Therefore, S is a group. Okay. And uh, let's see, what do we have to do about the multiplication part? All right. Then it says, giving a reason, state whether or not S multiplication is cyclic. And uh, how do we know that S is cyclic? Yeah, which one is, what's going to be the generator? Yeah, the cis pi over 4 is going to get you the generator for all of those. 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, then 6, uh, and then 7. And then once you get to 8, yeah, then it's going to go back. So is generator making S cyclic? Question? What do you think? Matt, what do you think? I know. So then for B, this is where I think it gets more fun and more understandable, is when you set up the Cayley table, and it says group is mod 20 multiplication using these numbers. Denote multiplication mod 20. And so if we took 9 times 9 mod 20, what do you get? 81, and that would be 1. And 9 times 9, 11 is 99, mod 20 is going to be 19. And then filling all those in, I'll let you do that. The answers are down there. You can do that on your own, but it's cool stuff. Then determine the order of each element uh, with multiplication mod 20 of G. So you're going to take each element... And find the order. Let's do it one more time. Let's do one. Okay. What's the identity again? One. So the identity is one. So you go one, one. It is one, so the order is one. Four, three. Three, three, it gives you nine. Three, nine gives you seven. Three, seven gives you one. So what was that order? You had one, two, three, four. So I think that's a four. Yep, I got a four. And then just do the rest of those. Seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen. Uh, tell me, um, Christian, what is the order of seven going to be? Seven goes to seven, gives you nine, that's the second. Seven to nine gives you three, that's the third. Seven to three gives you one, gives you four. Yeah, so there's a four. And then, uh, Matt, give me the um, order for nine. Oh, I don't have the... Actually, I do. Here we go. So what's 9 going to be? Uh, if 9 was 1, which it's not, so it's 2, yeah. So, so this one will be 2. And then you can fill in the rest of those. Giving a reason, state whether or not S multiplication and S multiplication 20 are isomorphic. And remember with isomorphic that you get a similar pattern. And so S multiplication is cyclic. And G multiplication 20 was cyclic too. What's that? You just go like, like you go three operation three. 
and then that answer is going to be for three star three star three. This answer is what you'll, let's say you got a, for this one, you got a nine. So this is going to be nine star three. Okay. We're not quitting. So you asked me and I answered it. So now uh, for the cyclic, order four, order four is the state and it's generator. So we do have some that are order four and those generators are what? Which are the ones that are going to have an order four? I've got two listed, three and seven, and then the other two I think are 13 and 17 have an order four generators. Okay, so we have those. So find a non-cyclic subgroup of G of order four. So what do they even mean by that? A non-cyclic subgroup of order four. What do they mean by that? So are they saying the ones that aren't 3, 7, 13, and 17? Isn't that what they're saying? That's non-cyclic. So it's the ones that aren't these, right? So 1, 9, and 11, and 19. So that's what they mean by non-cyclic order 4. So they don't have order 4. So don't have order four. If it said cyclic, they'd say, if it said cyclic subgroups of order four, you'd find those, which we did. But if it's the non-cyclic, I think they mean the ones that aren't. But I mean, when you say cyclic, because of order four, that's the first, and that's not referring to the order of the shell, right? No, I think it's the order of the elements. Correct. Yep. 